as a real in Kauai, I go out to eat with clients and friends all the time. Sometimes people even take me out to eat. So I can confidently say, having been to every restaurant on Kauai multiple times, that these are the top five breakfast, lunch, and dinner locations. Life is short. Buy the beach house. Live the dream. Oh, so you just woke up on your beautiful Kauai vacation. Just finished watching your favorite YouTube upload from your Kauai local YouTuber, Annie, who you subscribed to years ago. And if you didn't, you're doing it now. You're looking across the bay and you think, where can we get breakfast? One of my favorite breakfast spots on Kauai is Trilogy. It's located in the Old Stone Mall in Kilauea. They have lots of vegan treats. They have excellent chocolate if you're looking for some great chocolate. But their avocado toast is to die for. Now they're very picky about where the avocados come from. They curate them from only the best trees on Kauai. So when they're out of avocado for the day, there's no more avocado toast. The line isn't that long, but you wanna get there early if you wanna make sure you get one. You're gonna sit outside. They have some tables with umbrellas and then a few tables without. Javakai. So there are two Javakais on Kauai. One's in Kapa'a, one's in Kilauea in the new mall. The one in Kapa'a, you'll always see a line down the sidewalk. They have the same menus, they're both great. People love them obviously for their coffee, tea, they have smoothies. I like their breakfast sandwiches. The Surfer Girl is my favorite. Lemon ricotta pancake that's also very good. Java Kai is a great fun place to meet up with friends or to go for breakfast on Kauai. If you're in Honolulu, this one's actually a new breakfast spot. Wake Up Cafe, which is home of Trucking Delicious, is open only for breakfast and lunch, and they have great breakfast items. Real, like old Kauai retro feel. They have favorite local dishes like chili pepper chicken and lots of great breakfast options. There's a little bit of anthropology going on. They sell cute dishes and souvenirs and keepsakes. They've got some really unique stuff. So go to Wake Up Delicious, eat some of the food, look at their other options. Country Kitchen. Now this might be the most famous breakfast spot on Kauai, located in Kapa'a. They have a great atmosphere. It's so popular, they can have long waits, and you'll see them going down the street, usually park across the street, across the Kohio Highway to get in. They have kind of like an outdoor bar that you can sit at. Because it's so popular and busy, they do turn their tables pretty quickly. So they're gonna get people in fast when your order has been served and you're done they're gonna get you out of there fast as well but I recommend their pancakes their pancakes are literally about that big and about that thick and you can get in with banana you can have all sorts of syrup macadamia nuts I mean it's every kind of pancake you've ever wanted to try with a variety of syrups and it's so big you should definitely share it with someone don't don't attempt this on your own the newly renovated and reopened One Hanalei Bay has a restaurant called One Kitchens, which is open for breakfast. You can order off the menu or have the breakfast buffet. Now the old St. Regis also had a breakfast buffet, which was huge. This one's a little more pared down, but it still has great fresh fruit, fresh juices. You can get a custom made omelet, they have an assortment of donuts and rolls. They have waffles with a variety of syrups. You know, everything that you typically see in the buffet of a high-end resort. But here's what I have to say. It's, it's about $46 to go to One Kitchens in One Hanalei Bay for, for breakfast. And it is completely worth it because your view is probably the best view in the world. You're looking over Hanalei Bay and the mountains, and it's just incredible. Whatever the price is for their breakfast there, it's worth it. 
It doesn't even matter what the food tastes like because it's just so beautiful. By the way, despite my long patronage to these places, none of these restaurants are sponsoring me. But I would like to say, if you wanna show me some love, I'm willing to accept it. So you've spent the morning on a beautiful excursion or hiking some exotic trail, and now you're hungry for lunch. What are the best options? One of my favorites is in Kapa'a, Tacos Al Pastor. They have lots of good things on their menu, but my favorite are the fish tacos. They're usually ahi, but it'll be the fresh catch of the day. You get two tacos with little beans, a little rice, a little guacamole, and a chip. And it's amazing. Tacos Al Pastor is in one of the food truck areas in Kapa'a. So you're gonna order at the food truck. They have umbrella picnic tables for you to sit at. It's also just steps away from the Kapa'a bike path. So you're about 50 yards away from the ocean. Feel the salty air on your skin, walk over and watch the waves crash against the shoreline as you eat your amazing fish tacos. Kilauea Fish Market. This is located in the old stone mall in Kilauea. If you're coming to Kauai, you're gonna wanna have some great fish, and Kilauea Fish Market is one of those places you should go. They have amazing ahi wraps, fish tacos, fish plates, and everything there is good. There's a small seating area. Because everything is fresh and cooked there, it can take a little bit of time to get your order, but be patient. It's worth it. One of the things that Kilauea Fish Market is famous for, the amazing sauce they put in their ahi wraps. And it's a combination of a homemade teriyaki sauce and a Sesame Island dressing. And those two things together have been called the love potion. So if you're here on your honeymoon or any kind of romantic escape, you might want to check this out. If you're on the beach in Hanalei and you want to grab a quick bite to eat for lunch, I recommend Hanalei Gourmet. They also have great fish. My favorite there is the fish and chips, but people love their fish sandwich. They also have a lot of non-fish items. They have a great gorgonzola hamburger. They have lots of different salads you can try. They do boiled shrimp with Old Bay uh, seasoning on it, which is really good. They have a brownie a la mode you can get for dessert, which is also delicious. And it's in the old uh, elementary school in Hanalei. If you're ever there for dinner, they often have live music, which is nice too. Kiyoki's Paradise in Kaloa is super fun. It's open for lunch and dinner. I like to describe it as the Disneyland of Kauai. You walk in and there's tropical plants. It's such a fun atmosphere. There's little rivers running through the restaurant. You can get drinks in a pineapple husk. It's really fun. They have a big menu. There's lots of good items on there. You're gonna find something you like. Kaave Roots. So Kaave Roots is currently located in Kalaheo. When they first opened up, they were in the Kukui Ula Shopping Center. During COVID, they moved from that location to their new location in Kalaheo. There is parking, but there's not a ton of it. So you wanna make sure you get there early so you can get a good parking spot. One of the things I love about Kiave Roots is they have a gluten-free fryer. Have you ever had gluten-free fried chicken? It's very hard to find, but they've got great gluten-free fried chicken and a lot of other things. Their menu is kind of a, a local fusion cuisine, right? A lot of things that locals love with kind of a modern twist on it. When you go to Kiave Roots, you're gonna sit inside. The interior has been totally renovated it's cute, it's pretty, it's fun. So let's say you spent the whole day at the beach. You know how you are when you've been in the sun, swimming in the water all day. Those things can make you really hungry. You're gonna want a good meal for dinner. Here are my top five picks for dinner restaurants. Lava Lava Beach Club in Kapa'a. Lava Lava Beach Club is unique because it is on the beach. They have tables in the sand. You can sit at a table and have your feet in the sand as you're eating. They almost always have live music. They can have a wait, so get a reservation. Watch the waves crash against the shoreline, feel the breeze, listen to the Hawaiian music. 
I recommend ordering the tater tots. I know that's odd, but everyone I know that goes there orders the tater tots and loves them. Eating House 1849, located in the Kukui Ula Shopping Center. It's the new Roy Yamaguchi concept restaurant. If you're familiar with Roy's, which was famous for being in high-end locations in Hawaii and on coastlines around the U.S. This is Roy's new restaurant. 1849 symbolizes the fusions of cultures that were living in Hawaii in 1849 and how their food interacted with each other and what people were eating then. And it's, it's a high elevated interpretation. So they'll have things like Simon and short ribs. They're really good. I highly recommend them. They have a great Brussels sprout appetizer. The drinks are good. If you liked Roy's molten lava cake, you're gonna find it again at 1849. And it's just as good as it was the first time you tried it. Merriman's. Merriman's is considered one of the best restaurants in Hawaii. Merriman's on Kauai is also located in the Kukui Ula Shopping Center. You're gonna want a reservation. They're very popular. If you wanna get in to eat, make a reservation. One of the things Merriman's is famous for is using only locally sourced ingredients. The one exception they have to that is their beef, but their fish, their vegetables, everything else is coming from Hawaii and probably close to the restaurant. Their most famous dish is their macadamia nut crusted mahi-mahi. Super good every time. I definitely recommend it. The Dolphin in Hanalei. I love the Dolphin in Hanalei. I'm a big sushi fan. I think it's the best sushi anywhere. Now there are two dolphins on Kauai, one in the Kukui Uli Shopping Center, which is also good, and one in Hanalei. I think the one in Hanalei is better. And why do I think that? I don't know. It just tastes better to me. But the dolphin has amazing sushi. They also have a dessert I love, which is the Lilikoi Mochi. You can eat inside the restaurant, on the lanai, or on a grassy eating area outside, right along the Hanalei River. They don't take reservations, but they're a very busy restaurant. They start taking names at 5 p.m. If you don't wanna wait, I recommend getting there at five, putting your name on the list, and they'll start seating people at 5.30. They have items for people who don't like sushi. So if you like sushi, but your friend or partner doesn't, you can still go to the Dolphin. They have chicken, beef, your partners and friends can find something else they like, and you can have the sushi that will blow your mind. Before I give you my top dinner restaurant for Kauai, here are my honorable mention restaurants. The Beach House in Kaloa, Brennecke's Beach Boiler, also in Kaloa, Tiki Tacos in Kapa'a, Kilauea Bakery, Slow Yourself Down in Hanalei, Great Smoothies and Acai Bowls, Chicken in a Barrel, there's locations around Kauai, Holy Grail Donuts, there's one in Hanalei and one in Kapa'a, Aina Kauai in Kapa'a, and Bubba's Burgers, fun, easy, great hamburger, great fries. What's the best restaurant to eat at on Kauai? Barracuda. Located in Hanalei, it is very difficult to get into. You can make reservations on Yelp, and you're gonna wanna make them about 30 days out in advance because they book up. Now, if you're here and you didn't make reservations, you can go by the restaurant to see if they have any walk-in ability. Once in a while, they do. You can also sit at the bar. They serve a full menu there. The Barracuda, they serve in tapas, so they generally recommend three or four plates per person, and then you share with everyone at the table. Their most popular item on the menu is the cucumber salad, which is amazing. If there's more than three people, I recommend getting two cucumber salads. But they have a lot of other great things. Their menu changes on a pretty regular basis depending on what's fresh on Kauai, what season we're in. Your server will let you know if there are any specials not on the menu and they'll tell you what things to try. But I recommend everything on the menu. It's all great. What really sets Barracuda apart from all the other restaurants on Kauai is the quality of their food. It 
it's a step above everything else, which is why I recommend it and why it's my number one place for dinner on Kauai. These are my top five choices for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Kauai. But if you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear from you. Make a comment below. I'll be sure to respond. I'm always looking for a new place. So if there's by some chance I haven't been to one, I want to hear all about it. And if you're shopping for real estate on Kauai, just remember there's only one realtor on Kauai who's telling you all the best places to go. And I'd love to go to them with you. If you like this content, please like and subscribe.